This is like, sorry, I'm watching the what if in the background. My favorite what if, not by me, <laughs> it's what if Jiraiya adopted Naruto. I love this what if, go check it out. And plus, Ultraman be in the description down below because I have it in the background. But I'm sorry, this is late, it's just schoolwork. So, so let's get into this. All right, <laughs> third time doing this. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Cody, back at it again with another video. Today, we're going to be doing a new what if that I haven't seen on YouTube at all. So, I was like, why not go on ahead and do it? What if Naruto um, had Pokemon in it, okay? So, me and my friend D'Anthony... Um, he's, in, he's in our Shinobi squad, so he... Won't be mad because I've said the name on there 15 times. We've made this slide called Anime Teams. And there's this category that we called Pokemon Teams. So we already have Naruto and Sasuke. Yeah, Sasuke's Pokemon Teams. But also, we're going to have to like start from the beginning. Okay. And so, and so, why don't we get into this? We start our story off with the main character, Naruto. Naruto keeps making fun of Aruka Sensei in every way possible. He knows if he passes, when he passes, elementary school he's able to get his first pokemon i mean when he passes ninja school he's able to get his first pokemon and he's able he's able to to join a team of tunings naruto but naruto just keeps flunking the exams and the entire first part of the story would go the same. Yeah, Naruto would still beat up Mizuki. Nobody cares, okay? Nobody cares, Cody! <laughs> but Naruto would get his first Pokemon. He would choose a Froakie. Now, you would think everyone would choose a Froakie, but no, they wouldn't. Just for Just so it won't be plain. Boring, like Naruto's, like everyone else. But he would choose Froki, and if you're wondering why I chose Froki, um, on my slide, me and Anthony both worked to put Naruto's team together. Um, and Froki was the starter. Okay, so moving on, continuing. Naruto, Naruto and Froki do everything together. One day, he gets put on his first team with this guy that's late, but then his rival, Sasuke. And yeah, Naruto will be angry about how late his how late his sensei is. Takashi will walk into class along with his blaze again. <clears throat> Naruto will look at the blaze again. Whoa, that's a blaze again. 
Kakashi would would nod. But then Naruto would get back on the subject. Kakashi Sensei, why are you late? You're not supposed to be late. All ninjas are supposed to be early. Kakashi would say that he got um he was paying attention to him reading on reading his books. His book. Naruto would attempt to look at the book, but Kakashi would move it away saying No, 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 you're not at that age yet. What? And then he would transform. We don't need to see none of that. Naruto would then charge at Kakashi, saying, Well, if you're such a strong ninja, then why don't you fight me? Kakashi would stop him, saying, Meet me at the training facility. Oh, everything would go the same. Um, <laughs> Yeah, they would meet him. And... And I'll go over that Pokemon battle later. <laughs> Froki would use double team as Naruto used Shadow Clone Jutsu. And they would charge a Kakashi. And Blaziken, Blaziken would say that he got it all. But obviously nobody understands him. But he, he, he would charge at them. Pushing his way through. Taking the clones away. Then it's just Naruto and his own Froki. And they would keep they would keep putting on the shadow clones. Naruto and Froki would be coordinated. Froki would would make more make more double team clones of itself. Well, well Naruto makes more clones of himself. Until they have Kakashi surrounded. Froki would use bubble. Well, Naruto would throw Kunai knives. Kukashi and Blaziken would barely, not barely, but they would die. But then, Naruto, Naruto and Froki would be right in front of him. Well, I think Naruto would name is Froki. Hmm, actually, what would he name Froki? Boruto. Let's, let's call him Boruto. He would name him Boruto. So, Boruto would... So, go, Naruto would jump in here and say, Nah! Boruto! Uzumaki! 2K Barai! Gosh, he was barely able to block that, along with Blaziken. Barso would use his own, and Naruto would use his own. And they would catch themselves on the ground. Naruto, Naruto would then use multi-shadow clones. Froku would be the only one in here. And they would all grab, they would get on the ground, all grab Froku. Naruto would be at the top holding Froki like nothing else, giving him a kunai knife. He would still would swing Froki and Naruto, and Naruto would, and Froki would go flying. Naruto would let go of Froki, pushing him forward, saying, Do it, Froki! Naruto would grab himself on the ground, running as fast as Froki's, Froki's um, flying, and they would be on court. Naruto would pull on a kunai knife, throwing it, throwing about five of them until holding one of them. And then they would say, Oki? I mean, not Oki. They would say, Uzumaki? Slash! Which is a combo move that they, that they would use. Kakashi would barely be able to dodge. Along with Blaziken. Sakura would then be like, Oh my god, Naruto's actually cool for once. Sasuke would jump in using a fireball jinsu. Can't let Naruto show him out. <clears throat> then he would get into his stance. And charge at Kakashi. He would start a fight with Kakashi. Actually holding his own, like in canon. But. 
went in with jumping too, using a blast, T- taking Ka- putting Kashi off guard. Uh, Kakashi would, j- would, would drop Sasuke, leg, Sasuke and went in with jumping here using. What we use Ember Wall, Wall, Sasuke would use Fireball Jinsu. Sasuke would catch himself on the ground, charging at at Kakashi. Kakashi has been put through enough trouble with this group. He's ready. He's ready to stop. He charges up at Chidori, charging at Naruto and Sasuke. While Boise can charges up a fire fist, charging at the Pokemon. Naruto and Sasuke would work together, blocking the attack, sending it flat past. Naruto, Naruto, Naruto would be like, "Good job, Sasuke," but Sasuke wouldn't give Naruto any response. Sakura would then jump out in front of Kakashi, hitting, punching him in the face. With her Pokemon. With her magic carp just sitting on the ground. I'm joking. I can't even keep this up for that long. With her Fanakin using an ember. Hitting a Blaziken. And they would all get ready to fight. But Kakashi would then say. You pass. And Blaziken in the Pokemon language would say. You pass. And then they would all be happy. Sasuke would just play it cool, though. Because, like... (laughs) So... Now... Pasuke. Pasuke. Would would be angry with Naruto because he worked with Naruto. Naruto and Froki would train, waiting until the. Until the big first big mission, and and he finally assaults for the third Hokage. Naruto, Naruto will be so happy. He just go on his first high ranked mission. Now everything would go the same. Naruto would still get jumped by those ninjas, except they would have Pokemon. We don't really need to go over their Pokemon because they're, they're they're not relevant. <laughs> so yeah, but it seemed like there's actually it would make it pretty easily having teammate partners. Then they would be able to make it around. Froki having the power of the water makes it way more easier. Finally making it to the bridge, Zabuza would pop up. Naruto would charge his chakra, not knowing how strong Zabuza is. Froki, Froki would get ready to fight, charging up his chakra too in his stance that you see on screen. And they would charge. Froki would use, would use the water pole, would use, would use cut while Naruto uses a kunai knife. And they would yell, Uzumaki, slash, running towards Zabuza. Zabuza would, wouldn't capture them, but he would move out the way easily, jumping on top of their heads, pushing them away, and then launching a water dragon. And then his his Pokemon would show up. But Froki, Froki being able to control the water, he knows what's going to happen. So he would he would charge the thing with a, a cut, tr- slicing, trying to slice through it. But Naruto would have to ch- catch Froki, so Froki wouldn't won't die. I mean, not die, but faint, cause 
Apparently, Pokemon can't die, even though it's happened so many times in the movies. But he would catch them, falling to the ground. Froakie, don't do that! Next good drill. We jump in the air. No. Zabuzo and his Pokemon are by, side by side. Prepare to be finished! He would charge it. He would charge it to Bread Builder. But Naruto already has that prepared. It's just a clone. He was gonna get attacked if. If this is a C rank rent mission. The bridge builder would 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 be hiding. Cause remember I said Froki knows it to the water, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Froki and Excadrill would start battling. Sword versus sword, I guess. Froki is barely holding the Excadrill off. But then Froki starts getting hit back more and more. And Naruto starts trying to fight Zabusa. Barely doing anything. Even the punches to the face that he hits barely does anything to Zabusa. Froki would get knocked to the side easily. Naruto would see this fear not to the side too. Naruto would attempt to to protect Froki, powering up to his QB mode. Froki would get back up and he would start to evolve. It would be a Frogadier and Naruto versus Excadrill and Zabuza. Naruto would be in still just knowing he Froki is still alive. He would just, he would be, he would, he would stand up. And they would charge at their opponent. Froki, I mean, not Froki. Well, his name is Borto. Borto would use a cut using a kunai knife. As Naruto pulls out his own kunai knife. And then, they seem like they're linked. Excadrill, then cutting, it would cut their opponents, and then doing the same moves, it would kick it up their opponent in the face, and then it would make, do, make shadow clones, charging at the opponent, hitting them with the same type of punches, then kicking them away the same, and then grabbing them the same, they got to be Link. As Kakashi arrived, Naruto has already beaten Zabuza. Along with Froggy Deers, I'll obviously be Excadrill. Having the type of advantage, because Excadrill is part ground. Naruto would then transform back, falling to the ground. Froggy would, Froggy would run towards Naruto, falling right on top of Naruto. Well, it's not a Froakie, it's a Froggy Deer, and he's away. His name's Borto. I don't know why I keep calling him Froakie. It's just I've gotten used, I guess. Haku would then show up with his Pokemon. Then popping up with this Weavile. <laughs> sorry, I just really needed to do that. I felt like I needed to do that. I'm really sorry. Kakashi would then beat the Weavile along with Hapu, giving him the offer since Zabuza's dead. Why doesn't he join them? Hapu would would take would not take up the offer. Crying over Zabuza's body, saying, You killed him. You killed Zabuza. Naruto would say, I'm sorry. You show feelings towards him. And I took him away from you. I'm sorry. 
Hapu did try to fight Naruto. Her and her sad, her sad, sad position. I mean, him and his sad position, and also really beaten because Kakashi fought him. Would try to fight Naruto. Naruto would handle Hapu, handle Hapu easily, just knocking him out. They would carry him back to the Leaf Village. Well, not to back to the Leaf Village. They wouldn't leave yet. And then popping up would be that other man. Yeah, whatever. Since there's no Zabuza, the team would fight, fight off, fight um off um what's his face um the, the, his army, and they would easily defeat them because they're not as strong as Zabuza. I guess the only one who would have trouble is Sakura. If you're wondering why there's a bow on her arm, this is why. Okay. Naruto with Flanderaya. Now, I think Jiraiya's Pokemon would be... He would have a Politoed, a Krokunk, and a Swampert that can Mega Evolve. That's his starter, a Swampert. <laughs> uh, back in the days when people, when kids would choose Mudkips. <laughs> but now all of the things are Trico's and Sceptiles. Like, no, no joke. Mudkip, what? Ease, e e e e e e e e e e e e. So yeah, Jirai would tell tell um Naruto about about the potential his Frogadier has and how much potential he has. Now, I don't think he would be like, oh, you're going to go through all this training. He would learn how to walk on water and stuff. But he would teach him, he would teach him, um, he would teach him, yeah, he would teach him Rasengan and, and his Frogadier Water Pulse. Since they've been linked as long as he's known them, he's going to make it Water Pulse. And, yeah, he, so, Jiraiya, Jiraiya would then say, Kid, you, you're all done. Three months are over. And he said he was going to take him to the arena. No. As they show up, Jiraiya would be like, Sorry, we're a little late. Because I think, like, the Death Force and, like, the stuff for the tuning exams, what I'm going to say. Don't know why I skipped, like, okay, whatever. Y y all, y all, y'all already know it's a tuning exam. The stuff for the tuning exam, like, go the same. So, it's the finals, and it's time for Naruto. I've been, ran I random it up, randomed it up. Naruto versus Gar. all right? Naruto versus Gata. Get it. Buddha. Basically, all that happens is that Naruto beats up Gata in the same way that he does before. So the plan's called off by Rochikaru. After Naruto beats up Gar, I think he would go on. And not pass the junior exams. Oh, no, he would pass the junior exams. This time, they would give multiple tunings out. I'm going to Naruto, obviously. Sasuke. Shikamaru. Right after the defeat of Gara, Naruto would run into a rock ruff? What is the rock ruff fighting? The rock ruff was fighting something way bigger, scarier. One of Gara's Pokemon. The moon version of Lycan Rock. It would start beating up the Lycan Rock. I mean, the rock ruff. 
Naruto would jump in the way, right as it's about to be it kicked the rock rough in the face. The th- it would kick Naruto aside, and Naruto would keep getting in the way, so the rock rough wouldn't get hurt. He would then tell Frank. He would then tell Boruto to use a water pole, hitting him with the water pole, sending him flying, and then he would retreat. After a little while of it being in the Pokemon Center, the Rock Ruff would want 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 what? <laughs> Naruto would catch it. Naruto would catch it. Saying, Ruff, "We're gonna be good partners. Come out, Rock Ruff." Now, Rock Ruff is the new addition to the Pokemon team. So, <laughs> so this is where we're gonna be ending this part. Be sure to slap that like button and I'll see you guys next time.